back with another little short video this is going to be for some of you beginners because some of you uh, more seasoned kayakers probably already know this trick but uh, if you have a kayak you know by now it's probably made out of plastic and that plastic is HPDE no HDPE one of those um, not really important but uh, if you drill a hole by mistake get a hole that you probably don't want in a kayak uh, all is not lost it is very easy to fix a hole and uh, my particular kayak I've drilled a ton of holes in my kayak in all kinds of different places just to uh, do different things uh, when I was doing the motor put something somewhere decided I didn't like it have to move it and uh, so wanting to take care of those holes I just wanted to show you guys a quick quick little uh, few little tips first off if you cut anything off your kayak save it just letting you guys know it's easy to do it's gonna patch there. It's gonna basically patch everything that I'm no longer using and stuff that I've removed. So I'll set this camera up and try to show you guys exactly what I'm doing. All right, so I got some shavings here, and I've got soldering iron. All I'm gonna do is just kind of heat that up and melt that stuff right in. It melts like butter. These are bigger holes, and I really uh, will take a little bit more patience. But the small holes, I mean, those things are freaking cake. So, some of you guys are new to the kayak and stuff, and you may think, well, I got a hole in my kayak, so now my kayak's ruined, or I gotta. Uh, you know, I, I got to fill the hole with something, and don't do like I did, and throw away all your shavings. I mean, even if you drill the smallest little hole, get you a Ziploc bag, throw those shavings in the Ziploc bag. You might be able to use them six months from now. And then that stuff will match the color of your kayak. You can go to Home Depot, and you can buy five gallon bucket it's made of the same stuff that our kayaks are made out of if you like the color orange or maybe go to Lowe's and get a blue one but I'm trying to make mine match as much as I can it's not perfect I'm still perfecting my technique uh, and I'm just using what I got here I've actually never even done this before until about five minutes ago but I figured I would give it a try since I cut that big piece out. So you can kind of see, it takes a little bit of time to fill in the big ones, but you just gotta work it in there, get it to where it's gonna stick with that edge. I do a lot of soldering, electrical wise. So this is basically the same thing. Once you start getting some uh, foundation, you can start filling in the gaps. You don't have to get it very hot at all. But you do want to make sure that surrounding edge is hot enough to accept the shavings. Otherwise, it would probably pop out. So The, uh, the fun part is kind of smoothing it out, making sure that... Uh, it looks somewhat presentable. And I'm hoping uh, when I get the one from Harbor Freight, I'll be able to smooth it out real nice. So, as you guys can see, it's not terribly difficult to shave, save your, sa your shavings so that you can do this. bore you 
tell you that with the other five holes I gotta take care of. So anyway, hope this helps out some of you guys. Alright, just wanted to show you guys the uh, that's what's left after the three holes. A little more touch up to do, but as you can see that actual piece of plastic matches much better. Uh, it's got a lot more black over there for some reason than these over here, so but that that's not bad at all. So and there's actually a piece that goes over all the, most of that stuff, so I won't even won't even be able to tell later on that anything would have ever ever been done to it. And uh these are the shavings that I'm using. I just uh, cut them into little strips right off my piece of scrap. Um, and those are easy to feed right into the hole. And then uh, I'm just keeping that stuff in a Ziploc bag whenever I'm done. And uh, so what I do is I melt it in. Once I'm done melting it in, I just take a razor blade and kind of go over the top and uh, shave it down to the right size. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a way to finish it, like some kind of sanding, but it's not really important anyway. Um, just gotta do these two right here, and then I'm done with my patchwork for now. So anyway, hope this stuff helps. Uh, there's three holes that I did earlier. I'll throw a picture up uh, of what it looked like before. And uh, basically today is plug hole day. Got all kinds of things I've had on here for a long time that uh, I wanted to just take off because I don't use it anymore. I uh, didn't find a need for it, that kind of thing. So I uh, made some adjustments to the anchor trolley. So I'm going to move the pulley and I'm going to plug those holes. So I'll show you guys real quick how easy that is to do. So again, this is just for beginners. I know most of you seasoned guys already know. But... Uh, Save whatever you can, even if it's shavings off of something. Save it, throw it in a Ziploc bag. Uh, you may end up needing it six months from now, just to uh, if you decide to change something. So, or if you come up with a hole. So, stay tuned. Hopefully, you guys can see that okay. So, I'm just using a uh, a Wells Weller uh, soldering iron, and all I'm going to do is uh, heat up that edge. And then this stuff pretty much melts like butter. And then I'm going to try to get as much of it in the hole as I can. So that it's good and solid. You can just kind of see how it's, it's melting just like butter. If you guys have done any electrical soldering, it's uh, very similar. And then once it's all good, nice and gooey... Get kind of mixed up in there real good. Make sure it's good and adhered to the stuff that's already there. And you just take your tip and kind of smooth it out. And then on to the next hole. Gotta work it in, easy as pie. Try to work it in good so it's uh, got some good stuff in there, make it kind of thick. And you can go back over it with a straight blade if you wanna try to make it more flush. So I hope this helps some of you new guys out. You may be new to kayaking. You might have found my channel probably by accident. But anyway, just figure when you start cutting holes and drilling and all that kind of stuff, save those shavings. They may come in handy one day. Unless you like orange patchwork. Home Depot buckets.
and if you want to really make it look good just take a straight razor and trim down that top part and let me trim it down save the shavings throw them in the cloth bag Alright guys, good luck, patching your holes.